Kevin Curtis is relieved after learning of James Everett Dusky's arrest. I was just like, <sighs> I took a deep breath and I walked in there and I told my ex-wife, I said, now I feel like a, a weight is so much lifted off of my shoulders. Investigators initially honed in on Curtis after someone sent rice and laced letters to President Obama, Mississippi Senator Roger Wicker, and a county court judge. Charges filed against Curtis were dropped last week. After Curtis's release, the FBI shifted its focus to Dusky, a martial arts instructor and a former political candidate. They all just surrounded the house and knocked on the door and he came on out. He came out willingly, so. I mean, it wasn't any struggling going on or anything. Federal prosecutors have charged Dusky with, quote, knowingly developing, producing, stockpiling, and possessing a biological agent for use as a weapon. Curtis's ex-wife, Laura, worked with Dusky at an insurance company owned by Curtis's brother. She says Dusky bragged about being a member of Mensa, a high IQ society. He had a, a, a Mensa card, and it was just one of his things he was proud of. And he I showed mean, you the card. Mm -hmm. Kevin Curtis says Dusky has been harassing him online since 2004. Why do you think he was interested in you? I don't know. I, I'm still trying to find that out. I really don't know. I'm so curious. I've been curious for years. Dusky denied Curtis's accusations and any involvement with the rice and letters in this statement posted uh, on so YouTube. Supporting. I don't have anything at all to do with this. I don't hardly know the guy. In fact, uh, we've only met on two uh, occasions. For now, Curtis says he's focused on spending time with his four children and closing this chapter of his life.